Amazon's new generative AI tool for A plus content creation. Amazon has introduced a generative AI tool designed to help sellers create enhanced A plus content for product detail pages. This AI tool assists in generating engaging descriptions, images, and layouts tailored to specific audiences, aiming to improve customer experience and boost conversions. Sellers can use this tool to streamline the content creation process and ensure brand consistency across listings. For those looking to optimize product pages efficiently, this tool could be a valuable addition. And I would agree, just looking through it here, and I haven't had a chance to play with it yet, um, but it looks pretty amazing. If I get down here, you can actually have it generate images you just provide the image of your product and the AI can place it in all kinds of different situations. Now I haven't played with this to see how perfect it is and I'm sure it's not perfect, uh, but AI is coming a long ways and it's pretty cool that they're going introducing this type of tool directly in the platform. But uh, Vanessa, you are kind of the, one of the AI gurus. So why don't you uh, give us your thoughts on the new AI A plus tool? Yeah, I so I think this is phenomenal. Like everything AI, just bring it in. And for a lot of people, this might seem that it's uh, below the standards of what you will expect on an A-plus content. And I hear you. I totally get it. And I agree. But the thing is that AI requires data to train and to become better. So the more people use it, the better you will get, the more time, I don't know, all of this innovation and development happens, you know, the technology will be get amazing. And for me, two things, for the small businesses, the small seller that didn't have or doesn't have a budget to create an amazing photo shoot, to create amazing A plus content or to spend a money on a, a designer to do all of it, this is an amazing tool. And again, if you compare like the current version of their listing, let's say without A plus content, just with a pro description versus having an A plus content made by Amazon with their AI, that is fantastic. I think that will level up that ASIN, even though the images are not, you know, a hundred percent perfect pristine or, or anything like that. On the other side, I believe for the people that already have the budget and actually no, for the people that have the assets, so the visual assets of a good image of the product or a good lifestyle or something in those lines, this will be an amazing tool to optimize listings faster and iterate on specific let's say holidays or occasions. So, you know, a lot of brands might think like, okay, I'm going to do one A plus content, maybe once every, I don't know, year, three years, five years. I don't even know. Some, some people have done it just once since they created the listing and they don't mm -hmm. change it. So imagine that this tool will be able to, for these brands that have the cool assets, good looking assets, build a plus content for father's day for mother's day for holidays for thanksgiving yeah, for sure. black friday for cyber monday for you know all of the things mm. super fast so i met with the director of of this program that is in charge of developing the ai tools for the creative side of amazon at amazon accelerate i actually did an interview with him Thor steiner amazing interview the things that he mentioned what the team is looking towards it's phenomenal. So this will only get better. And a lot of the focus group for the case study when they were building this tool were big CPG brands. So we're talking about the Procter & Gamble, and Nestle of the world. And they were testing this AI to make custom content for specific holidays or audiences or things like that. And you imagine those guys have very deep pockets, but this is a tool that allows for efficiency and allows for speed. You want to be fast. You want to innovate fast because having an A plus content done once every three years, it's, it's not going to be a thing in the game that we're playing right now. AI is changing radically fast. For sure. Yeah. It's, it's changing super fast. And just looking at some of these images, 
a lot of them are very good. Some of them you can tell that, you know, that the, the product was placed there. It's not a real photo. Um, but images like this one, for example, I mean, that that totally looks obviously the graphic behind it is not real, but yeah. it looks really good. Um, this one with the suitcase here, I zoomed in on it and, you know, it, it has kind of the typical graphic designer problem where it looks yeah. like it's floating. Um, so that one is not great, but it's probably good enough, especially like you said, Vanessa, the, I think the big thing that this does is it decreases the Delta between the people who have the money to hire a mm -hmm. professional graphic designer and those who don't. And it makes creating a very good listing easy. Uh, but then you're still going to have the separation between the very good listings and the excellent listings. But for a lot of people going from a poor listing to a very good listing could help immensely. Yep. Yeah. I have literally nothing to offer on this. I think Vanessa just. I got one, yeah. one little point here and you know, because this is part of the Amazon system, I wonder if Amazon will also be monitoring some of the prompts that the users Guaranteed. are users Guaranteed. are putting into the system yeah. and with the rise of rufus this will help better amazon better understand the seller's position on how this product should be interpreted and like what kind of best use case Good scenarios yeah. we could be looking at right so like maybe somewhere down the road this is also an SEO tool to help yeah. Amazon better understand what we're talking about. But I'd, I'd say it's an I mean, SEO also, tool now. A hundred percent right now. And this is something that I discovered yesterday. Shout out to uh, Carter Jesper, I think in on LinkedIn, he posted a, a post about SEO. It's like a term for the all world, like all world. Now with AI, we talk about MTO, which is model training optimization. So instead of search engine optimization, you do model training optimization. To optimize for things like Rufus, images are already yep. impactful. Mm -hmm. Like yep. you don't need to wait for to have something generated with AI by Amazon. Your images hold an immense amount of power for Rufus to understand what your product is about and the audience that you want to target. Mm -hmm. So that is absolutely on point. For sure it will be, but it's not necessarily because it's coming from the backend AI of Amazon. It's because Rufus already reads mm -hmm. and interprets images. Yeah, Amazon has, uh, what is it? Rec Amazon Recognize or? Amazon, yeah, Amazon yeah, Recognition, I, yeah. Yeah, and I can't remember what it is, but you can upload your images into the platform and Amazon will tell you exactly what they think the image is. And so they're scanning it, looking for that S uh, M yeah. MSO and uh, they'll be uh, moving forward. That's gonna be a big part of it, so. Yeah, sometimes it's right, sometimes it's not right, depending on the image, but. It's but, getting but, better and better. Yeah, but this also just, it it goes back to SEO, right? Like when you had to SEO a website or something like that, you had to put in the proper keywords and and like in images, this is pre, uh, you know, AI, you would put in alt tags and you would put in, um, what's that? The meta descriptions. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Meta descriptions. And then of course, even the slugs, right? So like the name of the image in the URL, all of that got crawled. Now- yeah. I, I would say go ahead and still do that, but you're going to need to be, art, for lack of a better way of explaining this, articulate your image so that Rufus can read it properly, right? So that probably means if you've got extraordinarily busy images with colors merging into other colors and stuff like that, and you can't, and you're not setting, don't have the setting cleanly communicated to rufus that it's going to misinterpret what that image is and then you will not have as good placement as you potentially could as a result of that now that's For a theory sure. but I'll, i i mean it's way more sophisticated than that of course of course it is yeah but yeah. it still means that you'll you'll have to think with that right yeah ai is the future Anybody not using it out there or not getting familiar with it, if you don't learn it, you're going to be left behind in anything that you do. It doesn't matter 
from if you're the school librarian to running an e-commerce business. Yep. You don't learn uh, AI and how to utilize it as a tool. Uh, it's going to hurt you for sure. Yep. So take advantage of these tools. If you don't already have really good A plus content, make it. If you don't have really good copy, use the AI copy tools. It's better than not doing anything. 